So, Dave, what's your Italy in Rome, isn't it? Yep. Course looks the usual European setup, pretty narrow, pretty gnarly rough. Yep. Premium, looks tough to premium get Premium for uh, accuracy off the tee. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Like, who's going to win? Hey, guys. Um, welcome back to the Golf Bros podcast with a slightly longer break than we anticipated from oh, just our, a little bit. First, our first go at this. Yeah, just the two years. Yeah, just it went bad like that. So I guess we did it in lockdown. Yeah. Then obviously everything opened up again, and when we're back to work, coaching, online coaching, in person, got busy, got busy. But I know a lot of you guys who have been, even people um, online, passing us by, have asked when it's coming back. So you'd be glad to know we're back. This is it, back. Yeah. This and is it. And what's the flavor, Dave? What's to come for? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the podcast, and uh, you're going to be able to listen to that on all the the normal platforms, Apple, and not Spotify. Just listen. Now you can Hello. watch us. What can we have at you? On YouTube. So we're going to be posting it on YouTube, the sort of video side of things and over there. So be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel because we're going to be doing challenges, different things, not just the podcast there, but also maybe some course vlogs, talking about yeah. some in-trend topics and things that are Bit happening in the golf world. Bit of fun. There'll be some serious guests on. We'll have talk a lot about golf, coaching, how we can make your game better. But at the same time, we want to, want to take ourselves too seriously. We want to have a bit of fun we want you to see us in some pretty uncomfortable positions to, yeah. to give you a laugh but how this kind of works for us how we can do more and give you more is if you guys can subscribe you know share with your friends have a chat about it um just and hit the notification button so you know when videos are coming yeah then we can hopefully do a lot more and we'd like to bring you know content not just on a weekly basis but for maybe two or three times per week yeah. um different if, types if we of content so that'll be a big help if you can subscribe and of course you can always just listen to it if you're driving on the car it'll still be available to do that also yeah and i think as we do obviously because we when we did the last podcast and it was a big success i think we're both kind of blown away by how yeah. successful it was and we did a one of our most popular episodes we were looking at was the q a so we will be doing sort of answering your questions this can be golf mm-hmm. stuff or anything in general um so even from now go ahead and drop those in the comments and we'll start to compile a little bit of a list for that episode yeah and we do have um we want to do some live uh sort of youtube episodes where you guys can get involved ask questions while we're actually obviously talking live yeah and it may just be jumping on things like obviously lots of topics since we've been away we talked a little bit everyone's talked about live golf um, yeah that's been a big thing that that's hard well, obviously Ryder cup is approaching so maybe even in around the Ryder, Ryder Cup weekend we'll try and jump on some live stuff maybe live watch alongs that kind of thing yeah a bit if, of we, fun. if we can do that um so I guess yeah well uh, that's a flavor of what What's the podcast will look like moving forward yeah um so we thought maybe without going into too much today um we'll talk a little bit Ryder Cup yeah, I think Ryder Cup will be a good topic. It's a big topic, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's huge at the it's moment. coming pretty quick, and mm-hmm. we're all excited. So, Dave, what's your... Italy in Rome, isn't it? Yep. Course looks the usual European setup, pretty narrow, pretty gnarly rough. Yep, premium, looks tough to get Premium out of for uh, accuracy off the tee. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Like, who's going to win? Yeah, who's going to win? Okay, I think, well... I think America have the stronger side on paper. Um obviously love to see Europe win I think it's going to be tough mm-hmm. I think if anything I just hope if I hope it's tight yeah and, you know it's hope the entertaining singles, hope the singles like back nine on the Sunday the single matches come down to some really good golf wins it, yeah. it's no, not fun of a team's like seven matches ahead or whatever happens so hopefully it's pretty tight now yeah. D- Dave and I were talking earlier we kind of had a rough estimate of all of the social media platforms that we're on individually and together there's probably about a hundred thousand people that follow us and there's yeah. more than half of you guys are from America yeah so for three days we're not your friend yeah you probably won't like us but we will be your friend again After. so bear with us for those three days <laughs> unless we'll, we win it might drag out a couple more days <laughs> <laughs> if you guys win then it's, it's silence from us yeah for probably a couple of weeks but yeah it's gonna be good fun um it will be i think the, the the team thing i think definitely europe are the underdogs but there's some really good players on there and i think they're quite top heavy i think if the top guys are on form but are they going to be enough to pull everybody and the newer guys could again they could show up and play like they have been playing yeah and then europe are a great team but i think america are just deep and such a hard format to pick as a captain I mean, what would you do in the singles do you kind of put your big hitters out first um you know do you get them all out trying to get points on the board do you put big hitters together it's really hard to know i mean i think a captain's job 
for a Ryder Cup team is way more difficult than I think anybody realizes. Even yeah. like, even coming down to the picks, like some of the picks that, that have gone in, likes the JT, mm-hmm. who's probably not had the best season by his world class standards. Yeah, but you got to look at that as a captain and think if I can just get a little bit out of him. Yeah, because he think, could just show up and yeah, be brilliant. The cohesion may get to the point where you know we. He, resonates with him and he's in things awaken in his golf game yeah he's not worried about swing no he's only playing as the guys ahead the guys opposite him so he's only worrying about each hole by hole he doesn't have to shoot a score yeah because he's he can, got yeah, he can the other guys a bit more attacking and actually we were chatting as well about the, the stuff circulating the internet now with with um justin thomas and in some swing changes he's doing mm. a pretty seems pretty drastic some of the, the things so it'd be interesting to see how that holds up and whether it was clickbait or not I seen something said he visited he sacked his coach he is his dad so I could have just been clickbait we'll have to find yeah. out more about that if anybody knows drop that in the comments because that sounds like a bit of, that's a bit that's a, juicy yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure if he actually did sack his dad or not it would be an awkward conversation that I'm not yeah well that's I think he still be his dad just not his coach you can't think <laughs> you think about how you think where he's been well by his dad all of his life He's been a phenomenal. He is a phenomenal player. Yeah, you can't, you just, can't just think you know. You have a little bit of a down time, down spell. Every player gets it. Yeah, and it's something to take into account. You see, when you see guys coming to us for lessons and they're maybe going through a little bit of a bad time with their golf game, it's gone good and it's kind of your peaks and troughs. Yeah, the guys on TV is no different. Maybe if the it's not quite such a peak and a trough as a, yeah. maybe a, 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 an amateur golfer will get, but those guys go through it as well. Definitely, there's plenty of people playing in the Ryder Cup who have been way down the rankings and, and come back again a Ricky Fowler yeah Fowler Tommy Fleet changed the swing these guys can Helped. you just gotta yeah you gotta hang in sometimes yeah yeah I mean it, yeah it's great it's, it's gonna be good fun it's gonna be good fun to watch it so we kind of both want obviously Europe to win yeah on paper we think America the strongest team yeah we're hoping that the layout may suit the Europeans yeah and they're never, sure that, too. never sure that's quite relevant the home uh, sorry the um, layout being tighter it's not like they tighten the fairways, make the rough wrong. Sorry, the, the rough long. It's not like the Americans can't cope with that. Well, exactly, because you, you look at covers. the you look at the Open and uh, British Open. Open the um, the Americans dominate that yeah. in the last load yeah. of years, and you would think, oh, it's Lynx course. They're not used to that. It's windy, but they continue to win. Yeah, on it. So, but it is honestly probably in like it's when you think of sporting events, it's probably up there with the best around. It's huge, and there's the a, big lot, a lot of advantage. Good, I think yeah. it'll help them too. Yeah, absolutely. It helps bring out the best of some of the players. And I don't think the Americans are going to be phased. As m- I don't get the feeling the Americans will go there and have anything that happens to them from the crowd if they're raucous or they're yeah. boisterous shouting things. I don't think it's going to phase them too no. much. I don't get a look of any of the guys. Look at Harmon winning the Open. I think yeah, he was getting he heckled said, pretty bad in the, the crowd. He said on a podcast they were pretty, they were going after him pretty hard, shouting, You can't win, you're going to choke, you suck. Yeah. And he was so steady. <laughs> that makes him better. Yeah, it was it was good. Though. I mean, it was crazy to watch. He was so consistent. So Okay, so if we do a little bit of a... Dave sprung something on me, but it's a pretty good idea. We're going to draw... He thought this was my hat for tonight. Yeah, Dave was just walking around with a hat with some like, numbers on some paper, and I had no idea what he's doing. Um, thought it was like a Chinese order he's going to make or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, we're going to do a random. Through. So Phil's going to draw for Team Europe. I'm going to draw for USA. And we've got... The numbers we're going to pretend like a hypothetical. That's a match. Who we think would win? And here, this match might actually happen in real life, and we'll forget to find out who's right here if not. <laughs> so, and we can agree as well. By the way, if we feel that yeah. one player is better than the other, do you want to go okay, first? I'll go first. Let's see how I go. Okay, number six or nine. <laughs> yeah, F and E six. So, or is it? It's your handwriting. It's my writing. Yeah, that's a six. Six. Okay. Which gives, Three, gives me oh. John Ram. John Ram and I got Brian Harmon. <laughs> okay. That's a that's a two John, that's two you good, but John Ram as well. Yeah, no, he's pretty steady. Yeah, he has got he's got everything covered, doesn't he? But saying that, like it's not like Brian Harmon can't, he's so steady. Complete two different, completely different golfers. Yeah. Like John Mega. Ram still wins that though. He is I'm still gonna go John Ram, but he's I think he's such a complete golfer. Yeah. No. It's not to say that Harmon can't beat him, obviously. Yeah. He's, a, he's in. He won the Open. He can compete and beat the best in the world. But I do think, I don't think anybody wants to play John Ram. Anybody in the American team sees their name against his, they're not happy about that. Do you think he'd be, in your opinion, top points winner? 
Yeah, but out I, of everyone, I think he could be. There's he would be up there, something about he? that Spanish and the Ryder Cup also. Yeah, you know, your Olafavo, Savies all through the years. Garcia just went a bunch of points. Yeah, I don't see anybody else on that list that kind of well getting as many points as him. And if we've often said about Shaffer, could be surprised that he could make a lot of points. Yeah, he's not going to miss too many. <laughs> I think um, we talked about John Ram. You know, he just has that. He almost has every facet of his game to an elite level. We've yeah. talked, we talked before about players that are maybe a little bit shallower. We generally find they're better with the drive of the longer clubs. Yeah, like, like Rory. McElroy. Maybe the wedge is not quite as good as somebody else. He's still phenomenal, but maybe not quite as good. And you get somebody who's a little bit steeper in the golf ball, maybe a you know a savvy of years gone by or somebody like that. And they might bring the driver a bit more. Yeah. But... Their irons are phenomenal. Their wages are phenomenal. Yeah. Um, It'd be interesting. John to... Rahm's just like... He's got it all. Kind of, Good yeah. putter too. Yeah. Short game. Yeah. Although, talking about putting, if anybody puttered uh, a Shepherd to put halfway decent this season... I know. The guy would have been out of sight. It's like, yeah, Brian Harmon's putting display at the Open was pretty special. He's he brings that in the Ryder Cup. It could be an annoying for anybody <laughs> that he faces yeah. like because he make everything. Okay. Um, so right, we'll, we'll put... We're both thinking John Rahm wins that one. If it I'll put these back in in case right. we get. Let me shake them up those so you don't pick out the same ones. That wouldn't be too good. Give me another. Right. Right. Very fancy hair cap and a bit of paper. I know, it's great. I think I just picked number, the same one. Number three, Victor Hovland. Oh. Reasonably good player. 11. Marikawa. It's a good match. That's a very good match. He can't sound too European biased. I still think Hovland, like he's on form. He's been incredible. Right. Are we biased though, or just well, real? Maybe, yeah. Well, you got to think um, the trajectory of their careers. I cannot say that word properly, which is not very good for a golf coach. Trajectory. Trajectory. Can't get. Can't <laughs> it's kind of what you need. Yeah. But it's called tread. If you look at him and you think like you know, Morikawa was flying. Mm-hmm. Hovland was down here. Was saying his short game was horrendous. Blah blah blah. But they kind of just switched completely. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yeah, I think maybe in current form, you'd probably go Hovland for that. Yeah, there'd be some talk of the, the two of them play together. The, the bowed wrist crowd will go crazy yeah, for them, too. there's a lot, <laughs> lot of bowed wrist lovers out there. It's great for those guys, but if you're an average golfer, I probably don't recommend you try to flex and bow your, your lead wrist quite to the extent yeah. that these guys do. Yeah. Unless you're super athletic. And strong. Yeah. The, uh, right, let's do another one. So okay. what are you going for now? You going Hovland? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, I think so as well. Really um, hoping this is. I, I do still think the Americans are probably going to win, and doesn't look like it right now. But yeah, all right, right enough. We're yeah, we've just we're all like, yeah, the Americans are the best team, and we're just kind of saying that really, <laughs> yeah, you have no hope, America. <laughs> Based on these these draws, I think we're. Oh, who do we get? John Rahm and Victor Hovland, two pretty good players. Yeah, probably the okay. two strongest right. actually on you go the European team, and it wasn't fixed by the way. You go first. Um, number eight. Who's that? Filer. Filer. I've got 12. Shane Laurie. Ah. Okay. What does your head say here? Well, Shane's not quite on form as much as he used to be, but he's very good at match play, well used to playing it. Um, And then you've got Filer, who, again, some swing changes, seems to be back. Yeah, and I love that there could not strong. be a nicer person or a nicer guy to see come back and play well. Like yeah, just, you can't you gotta not like root, him. Yeah, everyone just, you got to root for him. He's brilliant. He's yeah, a brilliant he's, character. Brilliant for the game. Brilliant with the fans, the kids. It's good to see him back too because it was kind of you're kind of missing him for a bit with with everything because yeah. he did disappear for a good while. Because obviously there was like um, Jordan Spieth. Justin Thomas and they're, all and they're like musketeers mm-hmm. and then he disappears off the scene can't really get a start not playing well it's class to see him back again and yeah. JT goes the other way it's mad I know but I think uh, on that one I would go with Ricky Fowler yeah I think so I would go with Ricky Fowler Shane hasn't probably based on energy again somebody like JT plays well but Maybe he's competitive he to, but he is a gutsy competitor like you wouldn't really want to be playing match play too often against him I just think I did I just think Ricky Fowler just drop that. Pick Four up. and two. Just by the way. Pick that name up. Yeah, everyone there. should know. That's probably everyone my, should know. I'll be on my gravestone. That Dave did beat him four and two <laughs> uh, back in nineteen forty four or something. It was. Uh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just at the turn of the war. Try one more. <laughs> well, not boy yeah. with going through everybody. We'll We're just more. getting a flavor for this to see. But who knows? Like, we could be right with all these picks, and then if that comes up, you know, you stick a couple of very unlikely, but that is unlikely. 
You could just do the opposite of what we did. Right. This looks like it has been open before. This one hasn't. Number five. Oh, Roy McElroy. Jeez, you Here you pull out, I'm saying McElroy. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> Not saying anybody else. Who have you got, though? Ah, uh, well, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Number two, Wyndham Clark. Yeah, McElroy's won that all day. Yeah, if he flipping, yeah. He's, uh, got he's got to. He has to. You got Wyndham Clark, so he won USPGA, I think. If I'm wrong, sorry. I think he did win that, though. Yeah, I think no, he was. He had this big slappy cut the whole way around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right, actually, yeah. Big, big, wide fairways. No, here, not taking anything away. The guy's phenomenal. Um, but, yeah. I wish I could cut the ball. you got to imagine McElroy. He's got a... Yeah, he's, he's, pretty, one, he's a pretty good Ryder Cup record. He does, yeah. And, um, again, the, a, another competitor. Like, he's... Just hope he doesn't get too... Sometimes, I mean, the Patrick Reed game that he played... Yeah. You just sometimes think from a European point of view that he get a little bit too... Caught up with it all. Yeah, into the fans and the shouting and the... Instead of the, just playing golf. Yeah, playing that Patrick Reed. Although it'd be hard to play Patrick Reed in that one. Punch be him. tough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. Glad he's not on the team, like. Yeah, absolutely. To be fair. We'll do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Go one more. Go See one if we can get a nice wee matchup. All right. I'm going to pick one random here. And if you don't agree with anything that we're saying... There's a whole comment section to rip us apart in. <laughs> yeah. To say, are you two, what are you two smoking? There's no way he's about. beating him. Yeah. Okay. Number one, Matt Fitzpatrick. Okay. Number seven. One, two, three. Oops. Sander. No. No. Uh, Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas. Yeah. Who do you think? So who'd you get, Fitzpatrick? Fitzpatrick. I see. I sound so... The way these have come out, I sound so biased <laughs> towards Europe. But are, you, are you going Fitzpatrick? No, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to say Thomas. I'm going to oh, think he's going to say Thomas. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I think that I say Thomas too. I think because he, yeah, I think he'll turn it on. I think he's going into it. I don't know whether he looks at it. Is there more pressure on him because he's had a ropey season, or is there less pressure on him because nobody expects him to do that well? I think probably the latter. If it I'm him, I'm looking like going. Do you know what? Nobody. Ex- Everyone thinks about a terrible season. Nobody thinks I deserve to pick. Yeah. So I'm gonna go out and show people how good I am. It depends on his, uh, his like how he's wired. Whether he takes that to the point where, okay, everyone's kind of thinking I shouldn't be. I think these guys are so good. They're probably not thinking like that. Like, mm. I shouldn't be here. But otherwise, he's thinking right. I've got an opportunity here now. And obviously, yeah. he's working. I think he'll do. I think he'll do all right. I think he'll do well. I think it's. I think these events sometimes the best player in the world, even if they haven't had a good season. It's the competition. It's the competitiveness. Yeah. It's when you don't have to physically shoot a score, uh, there's no scorecard. It's me against you. Yeah. How many I times you? I got to get the golf ball in the hole in one like shot less. Gone. I shot my best ever score, but it was a match. Mm-hmm. You know, I hear yeah. that all the time. It's a competitive nature because you're taking away the aspect of you're playing the guy. Yeah. Or girl, you're not playing the golf course as such. Yeah. And plus, you're, you don't. You know, your your mentality is different because you're thinking. Right, I don't mind if I triple this. You can be double aggressive. It. So, but it tends not to happen because you don't have the fear of it. If mm-hmm. you start thinking like, oh no, you know, trees on the right when you're a match, you don't really care. You get like, like a 10 footer down the hill, left or right break for a right hander, the kind of the worst part we all face is right hand yeah. golfers. It's horrible. But when you don't have to worry about the one coming back because you know if you miss it, you lose a hole. Yeah. So your focus is just right where it needs to be. Yeah, and then you knock it six foot past, you pick it up and you call it yeah. a gimme and you go, yeah, made <laughs> a par gonna, there. Made a par. <laughs> also, home, made a par. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I think there is a lot of that. So that's why I think some of the guys who who have been picked who maybe aren't on the best form. Yeah. I still think you'll find that they do very, very well. I do. Well, and also what we talked there about um, a little bit about before about the controversial mm-hmm. picks and things. Um, you know that Ludwig Adberg, and we talked about him only turning yeah pro this year. Oh, well, he had a good um, finish there, didn't he? He had a good finish right it towards. He won in Dubai. I think his game was in a really good shape right when the picks were happening. Yeah, because he had a good wee run. Yeah, but yeah, but it'd be interesting, like someone like that, you know, and he's gonna have no fear. Most people don't even know who he is. No, and he's only out of college, and he's he's only joined the tour and done well. Now he's on the Ryder Cup team. He's going to deal with that in two ways. One of two. And I think being in Italy, then it's not like he's in the States where yeah. it can be more raucous, boisterous, and he can, maybe the it can overawe him. But he's going to have the home support, which yeah. is going to be good for him, I guess. Um, 
and he's a phenomenal talent and he hits it ridiculously far yeah like insanely far is there anybody on those picks like anybody there you think and go oof they've they kind of stolen a bit of one uh, they on each team they kind of stolen a, a living getting into that team if you think um of the picks obviously the captain's picks yeah uh what about the likes of justin rose well justin rose is yeah a little bit but he's had a good year and he's i think you look at the the uh, experience he has i think he can't when it comes right cup time mm-hmm. stand on that first tee like you talked about you know who do you send out first someone like justin rose because steady. he knows he's been there um yeah i think he's a good pick he's played well so yeah i, I but i know what you mean mm. it could look a little bit like again it's, it's hard to be a captain you know if you think yeah. about you pick someone like please justin rose and justin rose has been no points and luke donald's like the stupidest guy in the world yeah but then it's like, oh, well, of course, if he does really well, it's like, well, obviously, it's Justin Rose. Obviously, yeah. his record's good, etc. It's a tough, tough one. You can't really win. Um, and I guess a captain has to live and die by his choices that he makes on those. Yeah, they're done now. Yeah, they are. What about the Americans? Anybody there you think, whoa, how's he getting? Justin Thomas, I'm with you. Let me look at Brooks. Brooks is done phenomenal is that whole live thing isn't it but he he's been playing he well still went from live which i guess the competition's less obviously yeah so he's still come back over to pga tour and done amazing i know they well no there's no doubt he's, he's good again it's just i guess what kind of brick shows up but no i don't I, I mean, maybe sam burns sam burns me. okay fair enough Listen, yeah don't, like, obviously these guys are phenomenal players you're kind of picking holes and and things just to for just to have a chat but yeah i think if anybody maybe possibly him although yeah i think he for me that would be one um i don't know who else you, you would have picked yeah I think, outside of that who yeah didn't i don't get know who pick. else I mean, so you can say you can definitely see there's probably a couple more of the uh captain's pick on the european side of things that maybe tiger won't. should have been in there if he could have walked the whole heap give him a buggy he'd want around tiger, beat them all give him a buggy tiger would fly around there <laughs> no he'd rip them all out what do you reckon <laughs> i don't know much but i haven't obviously heard too much about tiger do you think he's gonna are we ever gonna we're gonna see him back on the fairway anytime soon i hope so because he's good for us he's good for our jobs he's good for everybody yeah. like, we kind of miss him the um i seen a thing on instagram today he was in doing a on the range thing at Liberty National or something. It was yesterday I seen it, but he's obviously still hitting shots and stuff. He'll not give up. He still and rips it. I think people don't realize till how far he can hit it and how good he can hit it. It's yeah. just physically the walking is what lets him down. He literally can't get around a golf course that I well. Know. But if he's in a position where you could just get him to his ball, I know. I reckon he could compete still. I don't think anybody would have a problem with that. Just let him have a buggy. Yeah, just let him go out and rip yeah. everyone out. Just let him go. Just, just let him keep playing as long as he can <laughs> yeah. until he gets another spine or another leg or whatever it yeah. happens. Yeah. Some stem cell treatment that just develops him another leg. Could do. Um, so yeah, I think that's hopefully a little bit of a flavour for we're all excited about the Ryder Cup. Yeah. What are we going to do now, you know, for next episode, etc.? Well, as we said at the start, we'll look forward to maybe welcoming some guests. Yeah. Um, messing around with different types of content. Uh, keep you guys interested. Have a bit of fun along keep the way. Keep it fun, yeah. Yeah, so that's all we're going to do for our, I guess, welcome back episode. And look forward to future episodes coming out in the coming days and weeks. What we'd ask you to do also, obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, just again, sorry to keep harping on about it. Jump on the YouTube if you can, like it, subscribe to us, hit the bell to get your notifications, drop into the comments any nonsense that we talked, any crap comments we made, <laughs> call us out on it, we're all for that, this is the two way street, so if we talk crap, you can certainly give it to us in the comments, um, and yeah, let us know who you're, anybody you think who missed out on the Ryder Cup team, both Europe and America, that you yeah. would have had in, or the captain you maybe feel like dropped the ball on one or two players, let us know. Um, and we know we'll, we'll chat to you in the comments and we'll and we'll have a bit of, bit of fun bit of crack back and forth so thank you very much as Thanks, always guys. for watching and we'll catch you next time see you soon